The influence of friend and colleague Dennis Edwards reverberates around the world. And so on this occasion, it's my joy to add my voice to yours as we once again acknowledge that fact. I'm Mary Cress, a sister of St. Joseph in Adelaide. I remember the surprise of Dennis's first book, Human Experience of God, way back in 1983. How was it that a local ordinary person like Dennis could associate with giants such as Avery Dulles, we wondered. Yet now we recognise Dennis as such an authority in his own right. We might say that Dennis's subsequent writings only reiterate the statement of that first book, that God's presence is revealed in creation and life itself. The context in which Dennis does this is always as a member of the Jesus community, which for him was church. The selection of essays in both the books being launched tonight further demonstrate this. In particular, the subjects chosen for the book Dennis Edwards in his own words trace the development of Dennis's thought over the years as he engaged with what God reveals in the margins of church and society. As a disciple of Jesus, Dennis looked in those places indicated by Jesus himself as holding an understanding of who God is for us. This led him to an ever-widening circle of encounter opening out to the infinite. Dennis was a listener. He heard the voice of God in the whole of life, in nature, in the wonders of the universe, in being open to the beauty of the other. His listening ability is what made him a particularly effective member in dialogue. Dennis served as dialogue partner on behalf of the Catholic Church in many areas of ecumenism and in particular on the official national and international dialogues between Catholics and the Uniting Church and Archic and the Lutheran Church in Australia. I was with Dennis on the Lutheran Catholic Dialogue for 32 of the 33 years he served on that body. He brought to this task a clarity of thought, profound humility, and a thorough appreciation of the Spirit's presence in the other, and this still inspires me. World recognition of Dennis in the areas of receptive ecumenism and ecology testify to Dennis's ability to engage in dialogue with the other, that is, with whatever and whoever bears the signs of God's loving self-gift. As you ponder the essays in the collection Dennis Edwards in his own words, you will find that Dennis not only um, recognises the signs of God's presence in the subject on which he writes, but that he also urges you to search your own depths of encounter. Because Dennis, the superb teacher, is still at work. I commend ATF Press for the gift of these essays and urge you to buy the book Dennis Edwards in his own words. Hilary, thank you for undertaking this publication. I hope many people will treat themselves to its purchase for Christmas and other occasions, and that through you, signs of God's grace will continue to be made available to us through the influence of the, our local friend, Dennis Edwards.